This video we're going to be going over how to copy successful Shopify dropshipping stores so that you guys can basically copy exactly what they're doing and see what's winning on their store so you guys can apply that to your store so you can start getting more sales and have your store look more professional. Let's get right into the video. So for the first step in this video, what you guys will have to actually be able to do is find a product that you want to sell. So once you guys have that product, and if you guys are having trouble actually finding a product, make sure you guys check out this video right here. It shows exactly what you need to know and what you need to do to find winning products while Shopify dropshipping. So once you guys have your product that you have found, you have to search up a store for that. Basically to search up a store, all you have to do is find in another person that is selling that exact same product that you wanted to sell. And then with that store, all you have to do is find a professional looking store, not just any store so that you guys can actually look up how many sales they're actually making per month, how much money they're making per month, and what exactly their store is using in terms of theme, in terms of apps, and everything you need to know to actually make your store look as professional as theirs. So with copying a Shopify dropshipping store to make yours actually get the increase and the same engagement that they're getting, it's not just gonna happen in a click of a button. There's no Shopify website that says copy and paste their store to yours. You just have to copy every single element that is in their store. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys exact. Once you guys have found that store that you actually want to copy, the first step is actually copying that theme. So the theme is basically the outline of a Shopify store. And to do this, all you guys have to do is head over to a website called shopthemedetector.com. Once you guys are on this website, all you have to do is press on add a URL, where you're gonna copy the domain, which is a www.com web address. You're gonna copy that domain and put it into this. So for this, this video, I actually did copy a Shopify theme and I actually made it into a complete other store. And the first step in this is I'm gonna be showing you is go to this website, put in the domain, just like I have here in goatee.com. If I'm saying that right, that is the Shopify store that I actually copied to another store so that I could see what they're doing, see how many sales they're doing, and then actually copy that. So, and then you go over here and you're gonna see that this theme is actually using Ride. Every theme is different, but this theme actually is one that I now recommend after I found this for the sake of the video. So I'm gonna actually be using all Shopify dropshipping theme stores with this theme known as Ride. And then once you guys have found that theme, all you guys have to do is head over to Shopify over here and then actually implement that theme into your store. Now a quick word from our sponsor, this app will actually help out your Shopify dropshipping experience tremendously. This allows you to easily test product prices within seconds. This allows you to increase profit and revenue as you guys can test different product prices where you guys can either increase it or decrease it according to your customer's needs. Now to download this app, all you have to do is click the first link in the description and this app will actually help your store increase the profits because of the, the rising prices of inflation. So if you guys have not downloaded this app or added this app to your store make sure you guys do do this because within seconds you guys can bulk change product prices to actually increase them so your store stays making money with the inflation percentages that we have today this app has greatly increased my store and it can greatly increase your store by just going to the shopify app store and downloading that within a minute you guys will have it up and running to download click that first link in the description and let's get on with the video now the next step is to actually incorporate everything on that website into your theme once you actually have installed that so over here on my phone this was the website that i actually decided to start copying into my store so as you scroll down what we can see in the beginning is actually the product like this and then we have a little announcement tab at the top and then as we scroll down we can see that there is a gif just like that and then as you scroll down there is a bunch of text just like that and then at the very bottom you can see frequently asked questions with a reviews tab at the bottom so this website looks very professional if you guys do want to go to the website that is the domain right there ingotee.com but we are going to be copying everything from this website into our own website and this brings us over to the laptop over here where i actually did copy almost everything except for the color scheme i made a lighter blue and the logo because those two things you can't really copy you have to make it unique you have to make it yours so that you actually stand out from this other one even though you're copying the website so i put the product over here 
and then I put $22.99 to sort of undercut their prices to actually get some of their customers onto mine because they're buying it for less. When we press on view full details over here, we can see that we have the add to cart, we copy the exact shipping info, 30 day money back guarantee and package content, except we changed up their name with ours. Their logo name was in Godi and ours was the Snoopy sensor, which I believe is better than theirs. So and then at the end, we had the exact same description as they do. We copied the same exact video from them and the frequently asked questions. I actually did this a bit differently even though I did copy the same exact text. I actually made that color, um, the color scheme by myself. I do believe that that is a great color scheme. Let me know if you guys like that too. And then at the bottom we have customer reviews, which on the laptop is not going to show the custom ones, it'll show the default ones. But if you do want to see the customer reviews, just go to this website on your phone. It's going to be snoopysensor.com. So as you scroll down, that is basically it. And then you have the footer, which I copied there by now, check order, contact, and then all the policies like that. So that was the exact store. Um, basically what you guys need to do is just copy their store and you guys will know how to do this with this left sidebar right here. If you guys do not know how to use Shopify, make sure you guys learn. There's tons of YouTube videos on it. And if you're gonna have a drop shipping store, you can't make one without knowing how to use the platform itself. So it's very easy to learn. Just look up some videos, or if you guys do wanna learn one-on-one, -on -one, you guys can DM me on Discord and join that server where you guys can actually join a community of so many people who are looking to make money online, whether it's through side hustles, drop shipping, real estate, or anything uh, sort of in the online or the in-person you know, categories. That is the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy another one of this Shopify series. If you guys do want to see more videos on how you guys can actually make your Shopify store look more professional or how to find products or in the end make more sales or how my own personal Shopify stores have been doing, make sure you guys do click on that Shopify playlist. It'll be the first video section when you guys actually click on my channel. It has such great updates, tips, and tricks where you guys can actually make your store look more professional or just make money because at the end of the day, that is the end goal. So do check out that playlist. This That is the end of the video. So if you did enjoy, make sure you guys do leave a like and hit that subscribe button. My name is Matt and I will see you guys in the next video.